Hi, Divinity. <sighs> Aussie Griffin here. I've caught your last couple of rants about HR3. It's bad. However, I don't think you really know how bad it is. That's because HR3 is one of a very long string of moves to deny almost everybody healthcare unless they fit into a very, very narrow band or maybe I should say a very, very narrow price range. I believe it was at the start of the Obama administration when I think it was Rahm Emanuel or it might have been George W. Bush just before he went out. Either way, the American Legion, you may have heard of them, uh, was rolled in there and told that veterans, as people who've been out there fighting, killing and dying for your country to preserve your freedoms to have YouTube and these debates, should buy their own health insurance. I'll put in a link. That was denying veterans. Healthcare cover. Then you've got the Mothers Act, where women who've just had children, are pregnant, or are thinking of having children, are put on antidepressants because they might be feeling down about some of the situations that they're in. And that's how mothers are given bad health care. Because the, a lot of those antidepressant drugs actually make you worse. Proof in fact. Once again, I'll put links to both antidepressants making you worse and also to the Mother's Act. Then, joy of joys, You've got Obamacare, and it's not a panel so much as a single doctor can say that uh, quality of life is not going to be served by extension of life. So, yeah, that was pretty much their cue to go after old people, okay? And now, with HR3 and the abortion um, hysteria being whipped up again. Abortion hysteria that, may I add, would not be there if people had a decent, decent social environment that said, we take care of women who have um, unexpected or unwanted or accidental pregnancies. Not that you can really have an accidental pregnancy, however you know what I'm talking about. And would it kill you to use prophylactics anyway? And it's not like there aren't plants that don't have spermicidal um, qualities. I mean, yeah. It's not like the Native Americans, any of their tribes were, um, were using any of them. They were just a bunch of savages, weren't they? Hmm. Didn't know anything about how to control their population relative to their land base. Hmm. And that's pretty much the thing. The people that are inspiring all these moves, and it's the same group of people, I assure you, have no particular interest whatsoever in your health, my health, or anyone else's health. They've already made a couple moves against smokers, um, people who are overweight, and I hate to say it, but that's a lot of people in America. Uh, anyone who's basically ever eaten anything with uh, corn syrup in it, uh, congratulations. So, yeah, it's more a case of everybody systematically is being told that they don't have a right to healthcare, to extension of life, to quality of life. And basically, Divinity, you're right about the anti-porn feminists and their hysteria. However, it's worse than that. It's like seeing a line of silt going down a drain. You might miss the fact that it's um, in a very low tide of water um, going down that drain. However, it's just the bit that stands out. And the worst bit is, everything they do in America, they try mirroring it over here. So, HR3, bad thing maybe part of an even worse thing and trust me this is not the end <laughs> no no it is not the end you're just seeing one manifestation of a much darker agenda and eventually 
they'll give you all all of the they'll give you all the reasons to love them and they'll turn out to be lies like that Obamacare stuff some of the people he talked about is you know this kid can't get a treatment because of damn medical companies and it turns out that Obamacare didn't help out that kid I'll find links where I can I'm Ozzy Griffin and society's messed up.